Ron here. So you went out, uh, you bought a router on eBay or Craigslist or something, uh, you plug it in, and what do you know? It has a config on it. Uh, and that config, in this case, type enable to get to privilege exec mode, has a password. You try every password under the sun and you're just not guessing it. Uh, doesn't matter what you type, you can't seem to get it. So you're going to have to do a password reset. So most cases is uh, this pretty straightforward process. There are some cases where people can make your life uh, a little bit of a pain, uh, but it's not so bad. So don't worry. What we're going to use, and let me flip over to another page here. Uh, what we're going to use is this thing called a configuration register. So the configuration register by default is uh, is a hexadecimal value 2102 by default. Uh, and that's what it, it ends up coming out to. Well, each one of these bits is a flag along the way. Uh, so counting from zero all the way up. Uh, depending upon which, which one of these flags are set, uh, that's what's going to determine uh, how this router boots. Okay, So 2102 uh, basically tells the router, uh, let's see... Zero one. No, I think it's one two. So it ends up telling the router to boot uh, by the commands specified in NVRAM, uh, and then zero for I think it's the eight bit break disabled. The important one right here is actually bit 6. If bit 6 is set, it's going to ignore NVRAM. So NVRAM is where uh, the startup config is saved. So this is where it implements, you know, it's going to copy what's in NVRAM over to your running config and hence when you boot the router it has a config, you know, it has a password. So if you if you ignore the contents of NVRAM, well then we're going to ignore the config that's on it. That'll never get copied into running config and it'll be as if there was never a config there at all. Which is going to enable you to go in and set your own password. So we're going to set bit 6. So when you change that to hexadecimal it ends up coming up to 2142. So let's flip uh, back to our router. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. I'm going to turn it back on. Uh, we should start seeing it uh, reboot. Okay, so there it's reboot. So I'm going to hit control break. Uh, and as long as they haven't set some other uh, one of the other bits to ignore the break sequence, uh, it should go into ROM monitor. Come on, son. Okay, it might be my terminal here. Not doing uh, control break, so we'll do a send break. Yeah, that's what it was. So I was hitting control break, but Terra Term uh, wasn't listening or didn't didn't like that command. So just from the control drop down, I sent a break. So. Terra term does a little bit different than putty. Putty does a little bit different than secure CRT. I know at work, secure CRT, I can just hit control break and it works just fine. Uh, but that's that's that. So we'll do a uh, conf reg. I think that's configure register 0x2142. All right. So it accepted that and it's saying, hey, Go ahead and power cycle or type reset. So we're going to type reset. Now the router is going to reboot. So what we expect to see this time is that the router is going to come up in, uh, I think, to auto configuration or whatever it's called. Uh, and it's it's going to start the whole prompt because it's in its mind, there's no, you know, no config in NVRAM, you know, because we've told it to ignore it. 
So through the magic of video, I'm going to speed the process along. Alright, so the router finished loading the iOS, which can take a while. Uh, and it came up to system configuration dialog. Would you like to enter initial configuration dialog? So this is the auto configure I was talking about before. Uh, obviously not called auto configure, but the system configuration dialog. So we're going to hit no. Hit enter. Uh, the router is going to do a couple other little things. And what we expect to see after I hit enter, blah, blah, blah. Hey, look, router. So it was router A before, now it's just router, which is the uh, the default. Uh, so if you want to change the password, you do a copy. Well, let's go into enable mode first. User mode does not allow you to make some changes, and I just call it enable mode. It's actually privilege exec mode. So we're doing a copy startup config. Uh, to running config. Alright. Bam. Notice the prompt changed to router A. So now it's actually running what's in there. So we can do a show run. Now what was probably there is this enable secret. Uh, again, we see enable secret, we see enable password. Enable secret always trumps enable password. So this googly gog is you know the you know hashed password so I'm gonna hit escape fig uh, T now what we can do is enable secret and I'm gonna set the password to secret exit so we can do a disable and then an enable it's going to prompt this so Cisco nope not Cisco uh, how about secret like we just set it to and router A works or it logs into router A so we've now changed password so now what we need to do is change the register value back or the next time we boot it it's still gonna uh, ignore NVRAM so if you do a show uh, version You'll notice at the very end, it tells us what the configuration register value is. So that's the 2142 that we set before. So we'll do a config T. There should be a configure register. So I just did a config question mark. Uh, I can do a, a tab, and it's going to autofill it in for me. So 0x210, if I could type, 2102. Uh, and we'll do an exit show version now this time notice that it's going to be 2102 at next reload okay so when we reboot it it'll go back to normal make sure you do a uh, you can do a copy run start again Cisco allows you to chop some of the commands down and we're doing this so that our new password uh, is set uh, and, we'll, and we'll be good to go. So now, next time I'll reboot, my secret password is secret, uh, and I'm good to go. Uh, another thing I, I, I typically do if this was a, a brand, uh, I call it brand new, brand new to us, obviously 2600s are used. It came with a config on it. Uh, I typically just do a write erase uh, and kill the config that's on it. Or just do uh, erase NVRAM, but probably the safest thing to do in, in in what Cisco expects you to do is erase startup config. All right, it's going to ask you whether you want to continue. Uh, I don't in this case, but that that's what you would typically do. You buy it on eBay, you buy it on Craigslist. It comes with a password. You set the uh, configuration register. Uh, via confreg uh, in Raman to 2142. That's 0x2142 because we're talking hexadecimal. Uh, again, to get to Raman, you had to do the control break uh, as the router was booting up. 
you do a reset after setting that configuration register it'll come up say no to the whole setup you're gonna copy startup into your running config then you go ahead and make your change I did enable secret secret you set it to whatever you want or if this is brand new you do a erase uh, startup config make sure you set your configure dash register uh, back to 2102 write it and then do a reload and you are good to go alright thanks man for watching my video out